Praise the Lord. I'm Bishop Eric Kincaid Clark, and today's Megabyte comes to you from the story of Moses. Exodus chapter 2 picks up Moses' story, where he is three months old and no longer could be hid by Moses' mother. And so she releases him into an ark or a little crib that was designed to float down the river. And she began to view what happened from afar off. The scripture tells us that Pharaoh's daughter was actually taking a bath. She was bathing herself in the river and she comes across the little baby in the crib or in the ark. And she opens the crib and notice the baby crying and says to one of her maidens, her servants, who happened to be Moses' oldest, older sister, her name was Miriam. She said to Miriam, go fetch, go find me one of the Hebrew women that I could pay her to nurse or to take care of this little baby because I'm going to raise him as my own son. Wouldn't you know it, Miriam goes back and gets her mother and then her mother is paid to raise her, her own child. What an incredible blessing. What an incredible blessing. Uh, our thought in our megabyte today is to trust God. Do you know that this mother who could no longer hide her child any longer, but was led of the Lord to release her child to the river? The Bible says that the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord. And like the rivers of water, he turns it whithersoever he will. I don't believe in coincidence. I believe that the steps of the righteous are ordered by God. If you believe that you belong to God and his hand is upon you, if you believe that you have a great destiny to fulfill for God's kingdom, then never think it strange of the people, of the circumstances that the Lord orchestrates in your favor, in your, in your life. Throughout life's journey, we will meet the right people. We will come into contact with the right connections uh, and we will be preserved where the enemy wants to destroy us. God's hedge of protection and his hand of mercy will be upon us because our steps are ordered by the Lord. And I say this to parents. I say this to husbands and wives. I say this to fathers and mothers, um, people of whatever walk of life. You've got to learn to trust God to trust God with your finances, to trust God with your family, with your children, to trust God with your health and your life, to trust God. Because there are times in our lives where we have to let things go. And when you let it go, let it go and release it into the hands of God. Trust God. He knows how to orchestrate and how to certainly direct our path until we meet with the right people, with the right connections that will bring us to our ultimate destiny. So is the case here with Moses. He connects with Pharaoh's daughter and she raises him as his, her own son. And yet Moses' natural mother was paid, given wages to nurse her child, to raise her own son. What a blessing. I want you to go back my website and search for another message that will inspire you, that will strengthen you, and if you're so inclined, you sow a seed. Be a blessing to what is blessing you. It might be one, a one-time seed, a weekly seed, a monthly seed. It might even be a tithe. But you sow it, and God will grow it and bless your life. Remember, trust God, because your steps are ordered by the Lord. I'm Bishop Eric Kincaid Clark, and this has been your Megabyte.